These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like... The androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean, my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate it. I'll 
turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with. But I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? Tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay. Be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 